do you expect to be raising capital this year? The well, the good news is we raised 18.5 million last year, so we still have a lot of money in the bank. We're not really burning that much, and so the we don't really need the capital, but we might raise money if only to continue our M&A strategy. I mean, most of the money we've raised, uh, as you said, 28.5 million, we've used it to buy companies. As you mentioned as well, we've raised, we've bought seven companies, and there are many more companies we'd like to buy. So we might very well raise, you know, five, ten, or more. If uh, if the right investor comes along, and if there's a, a reason to deploy the money, meaning if we do find targets that we want to acquire, Fabrice, you've got a good perspective on M and A because you've been on both sides of the equation. You sold your your previous startup, Zingy, for eighty million, and uh, now at OLX, you've also acquired several companies. What do you feel about the M and A landscape right now in technology? Well. I, Right now, basically, the M&A market is dead. What happens is, um, I think entrepreneurs, or, or the M&A market for technology is like the real estate market. You know, at first, you know, people's expectations, price expectations remain high, and then the volume of transactions goes down. Eventually, you know, when there's desperate, desperation, the prices come down, and the transactions happen. And basically, today, real entrepreneurs still have high price expectations, even though the market is not there anymore. And so basically, the volume of transactions has gone to zero. Um, we're just waiting for the prices basically to fall back down to realistic levels for transactions to start happening again. So what do you think will happen to loosen it up? I mean, will, will entrepreneurs uh, get real and, and uh, understand that their valuations are lower than they had hoped? Well, necessity, um, you know, <laughs> leads to, to people becoming much more realistic. All of a sudden, you know, all these companies are expected that we're able to, going to be able to raise money because most companies, you know, they don't, they don't raise a series around and say, okay, that'll take its profitability. Often it leads to another round. And often they've actually delivered on these results. I mean, they've had revenues, they've had traction, et cetera, but the money they need to raise is not there. And so all of a sudden they just, the entrepreneurs need to be more realistic and with, with regards to their valuation expectations, both for raising money or potential M&A exits. And it, w it is starting to happen. It will happen in the next year or two. And what about your own future exit? Um, you must have your eye on the public markets. I mean, we're still reasonably small. I mean, even though we're 125 people, we're in 87 countries, we do about 70 million unique visitors a month. I mean, if you want to go public today, you need at least 50 million in revenues, you need at least 10 million EBITDA, and the reality is even then you're at the very bottom of the valuation scale. I mean, if, if you're at less than a billion dollar market cap, you don't get the analyst coverage, you don't get the liquidity, so you really want to be at a couple hundred million in revenues. And for OLX to get there, and I hope we'll get there, but it, it's years down the road. And, and the reality is today, the, both the M&A markets for larger transactions and the IPO markets are closed. So, I mean, this is a company that I've been building for three years. Before we, we get to any type of scale that's relevant and before the markets are open, it's at least three, but more realistically, five to seven years more from where we are today. You've raised uh, $28.5 million in venture capital um, from some very well-known firms. What are you hearing from them? What, what are your investors t saying to you now in this climate? Well, they're still investing in, in, and they're still looking at investing. They still have a lot of capital that they raised during the good days, and they do need to put it to work. Uh, that said, you know, they, they, they're, they're cognizant that both their investors, their LPs, you know, have, are facing cash constraints, so they don't necessarily want them to make too many investments. And B, that, you know, given that the exit, the public market valuations have come down, you know, ultimately it suggests that the exits they're going to be able to get are going to be at lower valuations. So they're much more price sensitive than they used to be. So they're still meeting a lot of entrepreneurs trying to get deals. Uh, the, valuation, the valuation expectation of entrepreneurs have not come down yet as much as they need to for the deals to get done. 